Hey guys, so, <clears throat> well, so this is the first, my first actual video for the year 2020. So this will be a update video. So the update video for the month of January of the year 2020. So not much has changed out here. It's just past 5.30 p.m. And I'm surprised it's not as dark as it is. It's not been getting as dark as early as it is. I don't know if that means could we have an early spring or what? I don't know. Got a very thick batch of ryegrass right here. Right there seems to be the thickest. <clears throat> There's just a tiny bit of leaves left over. It's just throughout because of all these piles which I'm gonna get these all cleaned out in the spring. And then of course there's another pile right there. Yeah, I got some of the equipment out, which I'll explain why later. So here's my truck. Let's see, I have just over 28,000 miles on it. <clears throat> so our flower bed is all cleaned out. See right there are the remains of the hydrangeas. I don't know if they'll grow right back again or not but we'll see. Oh, there's a pecan in there. I guess a squirrel must have done that. And I got some of these weeds here in the front yard and also some a bit of rye. We actually had a bit more rye grass last year. It was to the point to where about once every month I actually had to cut the grass. So it looks like a I might not have to do that this year. <clears throat> yeah, there's just a bit of leftover leaves over here. I just never got around to trimming all of these, but I will. Probably next month or whenever, whenever I get all of my lawn equipments out and running. I usually, I usually don't get them out until usually by early to mid February, usually like right after, after the Super Bowl. So let's go back out back. All right, so here's why I have some of the equipment out because I've been working on one of them. That is the Lawn Boy 8461. As you can see, it's got a different look. As you see right here at the front, yeah, it finally has a, finally got one of these plaques for, for these commercial mowers. 
found this on eBay and I just had to just had to get it so this black believe it or not it actually came off of a 8461 believe it or not I believe it was a an 86 model just like this one right here actually looks really good it's I mean it's all scuffed up I thought about just getting a paint marker and just repaint it but after putting it on the mower it actually looks really good it kind of fits in with the <clears throat> I guess you could say that so-called patina look to it makes it look so original and it was in this box and along with it even came with another recoil starter this one is actually in really good shape you can tell that the, the the decal is in much better shape than this one it's really fading away well if this one actually fades away for good I could either just get another one of these decals or I can just put this uh, starter on it's in really good shape as you see that's still the original rope and it's I checked it over and it doesn't seem to be frayed but I think if I were to use this recoil I think I would probably would throw out this rope and put a brand new rope on it <clears throat> and yeah oh yeah and also I do need to do some work on the long boy 10323 I need to uh, replace the uh, muffler on it. And the reason why is because this guard, yeah, look at there, it's about, it's about to break off. Yeah. So there is a box in here with a, with a brand new Duraforce muffler. And it is right here. Yeah, there it is right there. Yeah, so that is a brand new Duraforce muffler. And I just haven't got around to replacing it. I need to get a, a gasket though. That goes that fits between the muffler and the uh, the mounting plate. I almost would have thought if this did come with one, but nope, it doesn't. Which, I mean, that's no big deal. So I'll be sure to replace it before I do get all the equipment out and running. Just because since there's no fuel. In that mower it would just make doing all this work a lot easier because it may require but i'll definitely have to flip that mower over because <clears throat> i can only flip this mower over in a certain at a certain angle without it actually leaking gas and yeah other than that, everything else are practically in in hibernation or winter hibernation, I would say. And it's starting to get dark in here. So here's all the other mowers: the Craftsman mower, the Lawn Boy 10606, and the Lawn Boy M series. And yeah. <clears throat> So I hope y'all enjoyed this little update video. So I don't think I'm going to make any videos maybe this month. Which I usually don't make that many videos in January. So if I don't, then I'll probably see y'all again for another update video for uh, February. Alright, so I hope y'all enjoyed the video. And so, thanks for watching.